I want to switch quickly to taxes and this claim by the uh, Romney Ryan team campaign that um, they would cut tax rates by 20 percent across the board, still maintaining tax, you know, tax breaks that are there for for the middle class. They wouldn't get rid of middle class deductions, uh, but also they wouldn't be rolling back any kind of investment taxes either. I want you to listen to what Paul Ryan said last night. We want to work with Congress on how best to achieve this. That means successful. Look, no specific. Mid yeah. What we're saying is lower tax rates 20 percent, start with the wealthy, work with Congress and to do it. you guarantee this math will add up? Absolutely. Six studies have guaranteed, six studies have verified that this math adds up. Okay, so to you, does this math add up? Can you preserve uh, the deductions for the middle class, cut tax rates, not add to the deficit, and cut uh, tax rates across the board by, t by 20 percent? I mean, the Tax Policy Center says, knowing what we know about their plan, it's not possible. Yeah, no, I think the Tax Policy Center study is the definitive study. They're nonpartisan. They're very good. Uh, they say, uh, given the numbers that they've been provided by the Romney campaign, no, it will not add up. Now, the Romney campaign could adjust their plan. They could say, okay, I'm not going to lower the tax rates as much as I'm saying right now, and they could make the arithmetic work. Uh, but under the current plan, with the current numbers, no, it doesn't. I, I'll say one other thing, though. I, I think it is important that we do focus on the so-called tax expenditures in the tax code. Those are the deductions and credits, mm -hmm. the loopholes in the code. We need to reduce those, because if we do, we're going to make the tax system fairer, easier to understand, and it will ultimately lead to stronger growth. So that's the right place to focus, but no, uh, the, the arithmetic doesn't work as it is right now.